Happy February Ravens! Welcome back to the ISSO Mailbox, where we answer questions from you. My name is Katza and I'm an international student studying Global and International Studies and I'm also a member of the Global PALS, the peer advisor network with the International Student Service Office. February may be the shortest month, but there's no shortage of questions from you guys, so let's just jump right in it. Question 1. What's up ISSO? Are there any fun things to do in February in Ottawa? Of course, February is the best time for winter activities in Ottawa, period. All this snow we've been getting transforms the city into an awesome place for winter events like skiing, snowshoeing, ice skating, and of course the annual Winterlude Festival. Winterlude has been moved online, so my top recommendation is ice skating on the world famous Rideau Canal. Or really, any public outdoor facilities next to you. Skating is the classic winter activity that you could brag about with your friends from back home and most importantly skating usually ends in you grabbing a canadian classic a beaver tail a beaver tail is a delicious cinnamon sugary pastry that comes in a variety of flavors i personally prefer the classics all you have to do is just rent a pair of skates at any location in the city and then you're good to go my pro tips as somebody who's been skating a total of zero times <laughs> is to wear warm socks and comfy clothes and be prepared that you may not be as graceful as you think. You may fall once or twice or three times or you know what, possibly four times. Listen, all I'm saying is that you'll have a newfound appreciation for all those figure skaters at the Olympics this year, all right? And for those of us who are more interested in indoor activities than outdoor, I'd highly suggest checking out one of Ottawa's seven national museums in the city, or even logging on to the amazing virtual events by the Campus Activity Board, CUX, or for Black History Month. And remember, Reading Week takes place February 21st to 25th, so don't let the snow stop you from exploring your city. Next question. Hey ISSO, it's my first winter here and I didn't realize just how snowy and cold winter would be. Do you have any survival tips for a first year international student? Honestly, thank you so much for asking me this question. Firstly, you're not alone. My first winter in Ottawa was rough, but hey, I made it and you will too, okay? Yeah, winter could be a difficult time for many people. Even those who've lived in Ottawa their whole lives, between the earlier sunsets and spending more time inside because of the cold weather, we're just not getting as much vitamin D3 as we need, right? So that leaves you feeling more tired and gloomy and just generally having less energy. These feelings are real. These are called the winter blues. So you're probably wondering, okay, how do I beat these winter blues? Well, what I try to do is go outside almost every day just for a few minutes. Yes, even when it's really cold, I bundle up just to soak in a little bit of fresh air and a little bit of sun. It goes a long way. I also try to make time for laughter. Whether that's catching up with my sister on her latest adventures or rewatching my favorite Netflix comedies. Making time for things that make you smile is extremely important. You know what else is important? Exercise. Yes, exercise boosts your energy level and your mood. So just trying to get into the habit of moving on a daily basis is extremely important. Now, why not try to roll all those tips into one mega winter self-care event by going tobogganing or ice skating or skiing or really any outdoor winter activity to get active and make memories with some friends along the way. If you're looking for more tools and resources on how to improve your well-being, make sure to visit www.carlton.ca forward slash wellness for more resources and information on people that you can talk to. Now on to our third question. Are there any scholarships available for international students right now? This winter clothing is expensive. I definitely feel you on this question. Staying warm in the winter can start to add up especially when you're counting all those uber eats orders i've been making because i didn't want to go outside yikes luckily there's two scholarships available specifically for international students 
That is the Marie Adette Gabriel Clay Memorial Award at $1,300 that is awarded to an international student who's proceeding from one year to the next and has been involved in student life. We also have the International House Award. That is a $700 scholarship awarded to a graduating international student who has been an active participant in extracurricular activities at the university. Both these applications are due on March 11th, 2022. And if you have any questions, make sure to send them over at issacarlton.ca. And make sure to put your best foot forward read all the eligibility criteria and make sure somebody proofreads your submission before you hand it in. I highly recommend using Carleton's Career Service Resume Review to help you work out any kinks with your application. And hey, if you end up winning, send me some Uber Eats. Now on to our final mailbox question for February. Hey, ISSO, I heard someone in my class say that they are already applying for jobs for summer. Is there anything else I should already be planning for? Well, look at you looking ahead for the summer. I'm still here under a pile of midterms and assignments, but major props to you and anybody who's already getting organized. Your friend is totally right. February and March is when a lot of summer jobs get posted. It's a good idea to check out what's available to you right now. And I highly recommend using Carlton's My Success portal for any up-to-date job listings. And while we're on it, if you're considering staying in Ottawa for the summer or even next semester, Reading Week is a great time to look at any housing options available to you, as the Ottawa rental market can get a little hectic. I recommend checking out Places for Students for any listings near the Carleton area. And that's it for our February mailbox. Everybody, thank you for writing in your questions. And remember, if you have anything you want answered, make sure to send it in at isso at carlton.ca. Happy February, Ravens. See you next month.